What is going on guys, welcome to the channel and, well, welcome to the realm, um, for that matter. Because, yeah, today I'm going to be working more on the realm, but more on the base to be exact. Because, um, we've been sort of neglecting this place, especially the dome, which, the hemisphere, which I, I mean, because this is more of a hemisphere than a dome, um, which we need to continue more today, for sure. We're going to get time lapse in there and we're going to get a lot of work done. Okay, quick thing guys, um, we did not end up getting um, any work done on the dome because we actually end up doing another project which is equally as interesting and as fun. But right now I was just working on a new system for falling down our um, elevators. We are going to, um, I'm thinking we move these out a little bit because they're actually really close together. Like, look at this. Three blocks apart and for the same type of elevator it is three blocks apart. It's very close. There's basically no use in having two elevators here. I just did it for sim symmetry, basically, at this point. But um, if we move it out a little bit, which is easy, like just one or two blocks, like to here maybe, this is like the shaft, that'll, I think that'll, I think that'll do more good than bad because, yeah, we, we really need to have it out more. I might do that real quick. And when I say real quick, I mean it's going to take a while because, um, yeah, I have to destroy a lot of glass. And when I say a while, I mean it's going to take me nine minutes to do three floors. Um, yeah, so this is it. I used up all my honey blocks, but I think this is going to work very well. Um, basically, the water stream is going to come up the directly up, and then you fall down here, and when you want to get out, you just go down and land on the... Oh, no. You land on the honey block. Yeah, you land on the honey block, and... I think that works pretty well, actually. Um, now, there's probably more ways to improve this, but I'm also thinking about doing color-coded levels. So, like, you have, like, red concrete surrounding that. How many blocks is that? That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 16. That is two of each. Yeah, I think we can do that. Let's let's grab some um, concrete real quick and outline everything. Which is, of course, easier said than done, because now I have to go collect a heap of flowers. Does that give us magenta? Yes, it does. Let's go. Concrete acquired. Okay, um, that is all of the colours put in place. I've crafted a heap, as you can see. So, we'll be chilling for the rest, but I actually like this. This is actually really nice. Goes all the way up, and yeah. Um, what we're going to do now is grab a heap of pain, glass panes, and go all the way up, which I think is going to be a pain. <laughs> anyway, I really like the colour coding, anyway. And yeah, definitely looks good. And I was literally one block, one glass pane off getting to the top of this, and I ran out. So um, yoink. <laughs> um, anyway, I think we should actually start deconstructing, deconstructing all of these um useless panes because we're not going to use them, and they're going to be a pain. There it is again. Um, to have them around. So yeah, let's get rid of them. Okay, so I've gotten about um, I've started deconstructing a little bit, but not much. About just a very very small amount. Um. But we are out of honey blocks, and we actually need honey blocks. And we're going to go and make a honey farm. Um, I'm thinking we put it on one of the levels. Uh, maybe we put it... No, not this. Not this. Oh, we could put it on this level. Yeah, okay. This is going to be the B level that also connects to the railway. So we're going to change this to, from white, I guess, to yellow. And then the yellow one from yellow to white. Because I want to have it all color-coded if I can make it so. Because that... That would be sick. But before we do any demolishing, I just want to take a look quickly at all of this. That works very well. That actually is going to work very well. Nice. Uh, how does it look from the outside, though? Because that's practically all it's about. Yeah. Uh, like, it doesn't doesn't look any different. What, what we can do in the future is have uh, different styled levels, I guess. So, um, one level is yellow-themed. The other, like, this, this is going to be cyan-themed. So, it's already pretty much it. But this way, we can actually really easily see... Oh, um, blue level's right there. That is the last level. Okay, so after recording that last clip, I came over here and did a nice AFK. And the reason I did that was because we have bottles now. And what do you need in a honey farm? Bottles. So, yeah, I guess, um, actually being useful. Okay, two sugar boxes full of bottles. I think we'll be pretty good now. Um, let's get over. Okay, so I'm back at the base, and I have gotten a heap of gla um, grass and some flowers. And... Yeah, I've, I've sort of already gone and built this up. Um, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I got a little bit excited and just went straight to it, um, which I think is fine. It looks, I think it looks okay. 
and we can decorate this once we're finished. Um, so I've just realized that I messed up a little bit. I sort of want very free because we're going to um, have an elevator coming up through it. So um, I'm not sure what we should do here. Maybe maybe I'll just move this over to um, these squares and we can have four machines, meaning four beehives, which will, it will produce a decent amount of honey and we don't really need that much honey. We just need a decent amount. Okay, so now what's left is for us to go and place in all these um, blocks of grass, I guess. I kind of also want to place in a couple more um, beehives. I'm pretty sure that that is probably a good idea if we place another one maybe here. And then, like, do like a... I don't know. What we got to keep in mind, though, is that I'm planning on doing, like... Um... Okay, so I've built up this... Um, again, copied it. I don't have a second beehive, so that's a bit of an oof. But for now, I think this will do... Um, I'm pretty sure I need to add a little bit more, uh, stuff there. I just put all my stuff in the chest because I was transporting all the bottles to it. I think at 20 it stops, so therefore we need to have... No, that was one. Oh, I messed up. Um, okay, and there we go. I don't think that we have any bees in that, um, hive. So that is a bit of an oof. We're going to have to somehow find another hive or, um, do something else because, yeah, it's, it's a... It's going to be a bit, um, a bit sketchy. I might actually try and find another hive right now. Okay, there we go. I think I've managed to, f um, I managed to find a bot hive, um, at another bee place, which is handy. Uh, now all I have to do is keep building more, and then we can eventually make a really good population in here. Uh, I'm just going to do these last two, and then I think we should let them, um, uh, sort of stock up on the honey, and then we'll come back later. Yes, the bees are out, and they are pollinating flowers already and getting the nectar. Okay, so, um, it's been a little while because some of my recordings didn't save, and I'm, I'm really annoyed because I did so much work, and I've just noticed here that we actually have some, an area that I didn't get done. I basically went and destroyed a full shocker box full of glass panes, like this. It's literally the slowest way you can gather blocks. I'm not sure how many hours I was doing it for, but I, it felt like a long time. Just ages spent like this. Yeah, there's something really going on with my recording software, and I don't like it. It's 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 sort of messing up. But anyway, um, as proof, here it is. <laughs> our our stuff. Whoa, exactly, exactly 22 stacks of straight cyan stained glass panes. That's kind of cool. <laughs> anyway, um, the bees aren't really doing much because we have very few amounts of them. Uh, have we got any more? I've got a lot of junk in here I need to get rid of. Wait, why is there bottles? Yeah, so I've worked out that there's actually a different system I need to use, and that involves um, it shooting out. I don't know. It's a bit, it's a bit weird. But yeah, um, we only have two hives at the moment, but hopefully they produce a little bit um, more each day. Well, whenever I'm around here, it's producing, so it's, it's really good. So, now all that's left for me is I need to actually build up, um, the second lot of, uh, what would you call these? Things. Yep, the second lot of things. But before we do that, I want to actually go and grab a, some water and, um, put it down there because we need to actually... Make it so we can um, go up and down because right now I have to rock it between fours and it's not nice. And but that is not what you want to see. Um, and oh wait a minute, no. Um, we need to get rid of one of these glass panes. Place a normal block there so it doesn't waterlog it. Ah, there we go. There we go. Now we need to get a block of soul sand at the bottom and well first we need to get some sand and a lot of kelp because we gotta make it so that this is um good. Okay, let's place this in. <gasps> Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to figure that out. How do we get out of here? We have to go on the panes. That is gonna be a pain. Okay, now that we've got this one done, we need to work on the one that's gonna be over here, which is basically gonna be a mirror, except we're gonna have it on two sides then, not just the one. Okay, a lot of glass breaking later and some putting down more concrete. I have done everything except for the four, fourth layer? Fourth layer. Fifth layer. Sixth sixth layer. Yeah. The white concrete. Um, but now it's done. All we now all we need to do now is add in all of the panes and for some reason, for some reason, the uh, bees aren't producing as much as I would like them to be. We have 
got equal to like one honey block at the moment, which is, it's not very epic. Um, we're going to have to find out how to get more bees in here somehow. I think we only have one at the moment. I think one wandered off, which is worrying. The pains have been placed in. Now, all that's left is the most satisfying part, and that is putting the water in. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, now I just need to go down to the bottom and make sure that we have the uh, stuff in place. Second elevator is done. I, I sort of skipped there because my mic wasn't really working. Sorry about that. Um, it was a bit scuffed. But now all we need is the honey blocks, which... um. Which hopefully will come in due time. Hello, are you, are you, how are you going? Okay, I've just gone and got another hive and I'm patching up these holes, these doorways, because we only want the bees to stay in here, I've realized, because they just wander away. In the future, we could actually end up having a sort of, um, once the sphere is done, that is, completely having like bees everywhere, because I think that would look pretty cool, but it probably won't work out. Um, definitely need more bees right now, which. I think this one didn't have any bees in it. Okay, so um, I've built up two more uh, uh, bee machines, bee farms, because, well, we need more efficiency. This, these aren't making enough, or at least we don't exactly have... Yeah, so I think we've got a couple bees in these, and then we can slowly breed them up. I'm going to go gather a heap of flowers right now, and hopefully, hopefully we can get start getting more and more bees. Uh, I've added a little bit more detail, and this place is actually starting to get filled up. I've just noticed that when I'm in the tower, I can't actually hear rain or see rain. Because uh, I think my particles are low or something. But when I come out here, it starts raining and I can really see the thunder. But then when I come in here, I'm completely out of the rain. Another um, really good thing about having half a um, hemisphere constructed. Anyway, so because it's raining, the, that means the bees are dormant, even though they're inside and covered completely. Which is a bit of a... It's pretty sad. It's going to start looking really cool in here. As soon as we get more and more bees. At the moment, the only exit for the bees is probably... If they're really good at going places, probably going down there. And this little opening here. But I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, I started off this episode not really thinking I was going to build a bee hive. Um, it was more of a, let's just fix this. Wait, we need honey blocks. Let's build a um, bee farm. And so, yeah, it's it's turned out pretty well. We have got a few things. Oh, I can even make another honey block. Let's go. But it's slowly, it's slowly changed, and we are now full on doing this. And I just realized that these are different heights. I'm probably going to have to move th these ones up because um, I want to be able to like put a water system in here later. But not right now. We don't even have that many bees right now. So, yeah. Uh, I guess that's it. Um, see ya.